The world's highest level gatherings on fusion energy research have opened in Chengdu, China. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency reviewed the pathway of development of fusion energy across the world and congratulated both the hosts and the participants. I only wish to uh, wish you a, a fruitful conference. I'm sure it will be. I thank again China for hosting this important uh, conference and to prepare the way ahead, a way that will be, I am sure, very successful. The chairman of the China Atomic Energy Authority stressed China's willingness to cooperate with all stakeholders. He said collaboration is more important than ever in the face of global challenges such as climate change and energy security. China will contribute its wisdom and solutions to jointly build a clean, beautiful and sustainable world so that fusion energy can better benefit humanity and empower the building of a community with a shared future for mankind. And during the opening ceremony, the IAEA designated Southwestern Institute of Physics of China National Nuclear Cooperation as its first fusion energy research and training cooperation center. China held a conference in 2006 in Chengdu. Back then, the global research level on fusion energy is relatively low and the ITER project had not started. Now, things are different. Today, more than 2,000 participants from across the world have come. I am very excited. The second ministerial meeting of World Fusion Group was also held. Participants shared their own country's experiences and discussed improvement, supervision and industrialization for the next developments. With the broad participation from global stakeholders, the Fusion Energy Conference 2025 is expected to serve to identify the possibilities and means for the continuous and effective international collaboration in the future of energy for all.